Hello everyone, today we're taking a drive around Edinburgh. Hello again everyone, before we properly get started, Future Tony here, how are you all? Um, just wanted to say that obviously things are changing now, uh, the world is in a very different place than it was a few days ago. The videos are obviously going to be filmed very carefully over the next little while, taking social distancing into consideration. A lot of the videos may change, they may be indoors, however the channel is not going to stop. The content may change slightly, but I hope you will stay with us and you continue on because I think during this time where um, it's going to be a little different and a little difficult for us all, I think it's important to try to keep some sense of normality and some sense of we will all, all of us together, get through this crisis. Um, just look after each other, be sensible, your social distancing, wash your hands, um, but the channel's not going anywhere. We will be here um, and all you need to do to support us is just watch the videos. That's it. That's all, all you need to do. Um, we're not going anywhere. We're here to support you as well. I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all healthy. Um, in case you're worried about us as well, this week's video and next week's video is already filmed. If you have ideas for videos um, that we can do at home that you want to see Scottish stuff at home that you want to see Please let us know as well and we will we're always we're now always looking for ideas Also on a completely different note if you want in videos that aren't about Scotland and just me doing silly stuff Why don't you check out our new channel as well? Uh, Tony Brinford. I'll leave a link in the description as well to that be safe and now back to past me with the proper video Because I don't know how many opportunities there are for me to go and get out and about so i'm not going to leave the car but some of you never just drove about edinburgh so we'll just take a drive about the streets are getting quieter right now the date is uh, the 20th of march 2020 so we're just gonna drive um and just so you can see the roads and what they're like and what the areas are like and how they join up so right now we are heading towards the grass market. We're not in the grass market yet, we're not quite there. Behind me there is the Scottish Parliament and um, a Dynamic Earth Tourist Attraction, which is an Earth Science Centre. Okay, so this is us heading towards the Cowgate. If we go up to the left-hand side there, then that will take us to the Pleasance. That's Pleasance Road there. Um, there's a stop here, that's good. That's Pleasance, that'll take us up towards Pleasance Theatre. That's the Flodden Wall, just behind there, a little part of it. Straight on is the grass market, and up to the right hand side will take us to the Royal Mile. Okay, so this is the Cowgate. Obviously, we've had a walk along the Cowgate not that long ago, actually. This is a great way to just quickly show you how to get around the city actually. I don't know why I haven't thought of this before. Now that road on the left hand side there, if you go up there you head towards Chamber Street. So from the Cowgate you go up there you get straight to Chamber Street, straight to the museum. Um, so that's always a nice handy trick for you. Three Sisters Pub on the left, Cowgate Hostel on the right there, heading into the grass market right ahead of us here. Grass market's not big, it's really not going to take us long to drive round this. Now if I go up to the left there, which I'm not going to do, that's going to take us up to, if I go left at this roundabout, that's us to, up to Greyfriars Kirkyard and up to, um, well, Greyfriars Bobby. Right hand side there, Victoria Street, which we walked on last week. And here we are, grass market people. You can see the roads are quiet right now, really quiet. Now, on the right hand side, obviously I'm not touching the camera, the camera is secured and I'm just driving. Uh, you can't see it, but on the right hand side the castle is just up there. And if we head up this way, it should take us to Lothian Road. It's going to be a little driving in circles a little bit. Edinburgh has got a lot of one way streets and there's more and more streets that are just for buses and taxis and things. So the route that I can go is a little bit limited, as in to show you everywhere, but we will do our best. I'm not allowed to drive along Princes Street, so we won't be able to do that. That's because it's just buses, taxis and trams 
on Princess Street. We won't be able to go there at all. We're just going to stay fairly central as we drive. You can see here as well, I can't go right. There's no right hand turn. You can tell by the arrows on the road that say straight over. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to go straight over and then go around the building. We're just crossing Lothian Road. That's all we're doing. Again, we've done a walk along Lothian Road. Okay, so we are just going to go around here. We're going to do a big right hand turn. If I go straight ahead there, that'll take me to Fountain Bridge, Fountain Park, where the cinema and the bowling and things are. We're going to go around this way. And then we're going to go right again, which is just essentially going to take us past um, the Odeon Cinema. Did I tell you? I have told you that before, haven't I? On the right-hand side there. Yeah, right-hand side, right where those roadworks are on the pavement. Queuing along there with my dad to go see E.T. That was a long time ago. Now, we're kind of double backing on ourselves already. Where that uh, truck is ahead of us, that's the road that we just came up. That's after the grass market. So we'll go down the left here. Go down here. There's the castle. There's my castle. It's my castle. It's mine. Left hand side there, Lyceum Theatre, Usher Hall, Traverse Theatre. Like I said, it's actually quite difficult to go along a lot of the streets in Edinburgh. We're going down the... If I go straight ahead, I will get to Princess Street. Right hand side there, that's the graveyard. You see that round building there? That's the old um, watchtowers that used to watch the graveyard from the grave ro robbers or resurrectionists as they used to be called. Now we're going to go to the right hand side, which will take us to Princess Street. Okay, so we'll go to the right. Now this is us coming to the end of Princess Street. Like I said, that's the graveyard on the right there with the resurrectionist with the tower there. If you haven't seen that, you can see that on the three three things to know about Edinburgh, three lesser things, can't remember. Well, it looks like I can go right. So this is us at the west end of Princess Street. But as you can see, it's gonna take us off it right away. This is us at Charlotte Square now. We are into the new town, ladies and gentlemen. That's George Street on the right of me. We so we're gonna to go to the right here now. Again, guys, we have been on this road before. You can kind of see how everything joins up a little bit. I mean, Edinburgh is not a big city. It's really, really easy to navigate about. The streets might look a bit funny, but it's not big. So this is on Queen Street now. Obviously, we've done a walk along Queen Street as well. Beautiful Georgian buildings here. Street Gardens on the left hand side and if we head along here this will take us to the top of Leith Walk which is where we're going to go. There's a National Portrait Gallery on our right hand side there. Beautiful building if you ever get a chance you need to go in there as well. Stand Comedy Club on the right hand side and where that bus is heading up to that's the main bus depot station um, and that'll take you also to where they're building the new St James Centre shopping centre. It's the end of the tram stop. That's it. That's where the trams stop. Doesn't go any further right now, although they are going to take it down Leith. Broughton Street on the left with Picanti Chip Shop. Picanti Chip Shop is so well known as Edinburgh, affectionately known as the Disco Chippy, because at night time they used to have a DJ, at least when I was younger, I think they still do. Right hand side, Edinburgh Playhouse Theatre, largest seated theatre in Europe, 3,047 seats. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the top of Leith Walk. So let's take a drive down Leith Walk now. Here we are, the beautiful Leith Walk. Leith is a, is a brilliant area. It's actually probably one of the busiest roads we've hit so far. Now there's a lot of work going on right now on Leith Walk because the trams, like I said, are going to be extended down this way. It doesn't look like they've started a lot of it yet. Oh, that is probably going to hurt my car. Well, like I said, you can see it's a, it's a big street with so much on it, so much history. A lot of new buildings, but you can see these older buildings on the right hand side as well. So a lot of you have said, can you do a drive, sorry, do a walk down Leith, and I will, but uh, it's it's a long street. It's going to be a two or three bar. Look at that church there. 
they're starting the tram works at the bottom of Leith and going to work their way up. So this on the right hand side, all these road works that are going on there could be the start of the tram works. I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know if they're going to have the trams in the middle of the road or if they're just going to have them at the side of the road because on Princess Street they're definitely just on one side of the road. Are they? I can't think. They're, now that I'm not on Princess Street, I can't think if they're on one side or in the middle. This is us almost at the bottom of Leith Walk here. On the right hand side there, there used to be a train station just coming up um, in there somewhere, which is no longer there. The train station is long gone. Um, I think there's a Tesco uh, supermarket where the train station used to be. If I remember correctly, but the train station in there, or the train station that used to be there, was the one that train spotting is named after from a scene in the book. Right in front of us, that is the only statue, that's statue of Queen Victoria there. And it, as far as I'm aware, I think it's the only statue of a woman in Edinburgh. How terrible is that? But that's it, that's the one. All the other statues are apparently males. So, this is us on Greater Junction Street now. I don't know about you, but I love to go for a drive. I love driving about. I really find it relaxing. This is us coming to the end of Great Junction Street here. Oh, I see this tapestry, this big painting on the wall here. This has been here since I was a kid. I can remember going out with my dad when I was a kid and seeing that and thinking it was just brilliant. Loved, loved, loved it all my life. It's gonna be difficult for you to see this tapestry as we drive past it because we are just going quite quickly past it but depicting the life of history of Leith used to love that love that when I was a kid I just thought it was a well apart from that I just thought it was a big you know cool painting on the side of a building um, so if I go straight ahead I'm going to get to Ocean Terminal Shopping Centre uh, we're not going to go there, we're going to go right and go along the shore of Leith. This is us down to Commercial Street now. All these old warehouses and factories and shipyards and things are all turned into um, flats on the left hand side there I think. Some of them are, um, what do you call it, um, oh what's the word, offices, <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Look at all these beautiful big old buildings. They just think they're spectacular. All being turned into nice big flats and things. On the left hand side here coming up, there's a bar, which is the bar in Train Spotting 2. The sick boy and rent and go in and have a drink in one of them there somewhere. I'm not sure with this one here. I think it might be that one. And this nice, and this nice down at the shore at least. Now there we go, lots of restaurants. Beautiful area, lovely. Look, again, lots of roadworks and everything going on, but I suppose that's the same everywhere. But this is all tram stuff. And I mean, there's obviously some essential work going on as well, but I'm sure this is all just stuff to do with the trams getting it all ready to go. And I don't know how long the work's supposed to go on for, to tell you the truth. A little while. This is new, there used to be a big old building on the left hand side right in front of me so this is new for me to come down here and that building be gone because right you can see look at this look at this oh i'd love to have a, a look at all i bet you they're going to find things under there I bet they're going to find some incredible history under there I bet you what they'll no the right hand side that there is and obviously i can't show you from the camera but the right hand side right now that's where Sick Boy lived in uh, Trainspotting 2, right beside the old scrapyard. If you look at Trainspotting 2 and you see the scrapyard and the flats, that's it. That was right, that was them right there. Keep going along this road. I'm going to get to Portobello and I'm going to get to the beach. We're not going to go that way. We're going to head back into the centre of town now. We're going to go right and head back into the centre of town. Now on the right hand side, uh, Edinburgh Marathon runs down this way, but that's Leith Links. The right hand side there, one of the earliest golf courses in the world used to be there. There is an old, um, what do you call it, 
mass grave of plague victims in there somewhere, I'm not quite sure where. The park here, it's, it's a decent sized park, but historically wise it used to be so, so much bigger. Like I'm talking enormous. There's a lot of actual really good history tied in with the links on the right hand side there. So much history. So we're going to go up on the right hand side here in a second. Uh, sorry, not the right hand side, the left hand side. And it's going to take us up Easter Road. So if I go right here, that would take me back along to that, uh, the bottom of Leith Walk. I would get right to the bottom of Leith Walk. On my right hand side would be that statue of Queen Victoria and I, I would be able to go left up Leith Walk again. Okay, like I said, if I go right now, that would take me back towards Leith Walk. Right hand side here, there we go, there's that Tesco again that I mentioned earlier and in there there used to be a train station. Historic Easter Road. It's more a residential road really. Now, as we head up here, if I go left, uh, where that taxi in front of me, that, no, yeah, where am I? Yes, if I go left, where those cars are going left, that would take me to Easter Road Stadium, uh, ground uh, of Hibernian or Hibs football team, but we're not going to go that way. We're just going straight back and into the centre of town. But the thing is, I'm not really planning the route. I'm just trying not to go over the same bit twice. I'll show you the way around, really. So we go ahead up here. I thought that right, the right hand side that I just passed was London Road, which took us back to the top of Leith Walk and then back to uh, the Playhouse Theatre and things. I can go right here, I think. Here, this should take us Regent Road um, and heading towards the east end of Princess Street. And that is Arthur's Seat, uh, Salisbury Crags on the left hand side of us. On the right hand side, we're at Colton. Now we're heading towards Colton. Go up the, on the right hand side, once you get past these, again, beautiful Georgian buildings, you are up to Colton Hill. So we're starting to get to the views now, people. This is where you can really get some beautiful views. So coming up towards us there, left hand side, uh, you can see the back end of the Royal Mile, sort of, or the buildings along the Royal Mile. Right hand side, we're going past the old Royal High High School. Jacob's Ladder there, the steps. Again, we have been here before, not that long ago. This is us now onto Waterloo Place. If you go and, go and watch the new advert for the latest Fast and the Furious, and you'll see them jumping off those bits on the left hand side, on the right hand side actually. So I can't, that's, we are now at the east end of Prince Street. That's Prince Street right in front of me. We cannot go along there. So this is us going, about to drive up North Bridge. Here we go. Now you can see why there's no point in me filming here right now. Look at it. Not really going to show you much views or anything like that. It's got a nice history, this bridge as well. I mean, this bridge was essentially one of the main veins of taking it from the old town to the new town, going over the North Lock. Underneath us right now is uh, Waverley train station. Uh, we'll go left down the Cannon Gate section of the Royal Mile. If I go to the right there, there's the Tron Kirk, and that'll take us to the main sort of section that people probably think of as they go on the Royal Mile. But we go down here, we head down the Cannon Gate. Here we go. So, sorry for the bit rattliness, but obviously it's the cobbled stones on the road. There's John Knox House on the left hand side there. Now if I go down to the right hand side, that'll take us to almost where we started. If I go down there, that'll take us down to starting to head along the cow gate. If I went straight, if I went right and then just kept going straight, I would go up the Pleasance. I would have the flooding wall on my right hand side. So you can see we've we almost came around in one nice big circle. Right hand side there, Mimi's Bakehouse right there. 
Cannon Gate. I mean, look at all these beautiful old buildings here. Look at them. Isn't this just incredible? Old Tollbooth Tavern on the left-hand side. Definitely worth a visit if you're here. On the right-hand side, that yellow and red building. Museum of Edinburgh. It's free. You should definitely go in there as well. It's almost at the bottom. Just start to see the remnants of the old, the, the ruins of the old Holyrood Abbey. The right hand side now, that's the Scottish Parliament. We are going to go around to the right hand side here now as well. So there we go, there's Holyrood Palace there. The right hand side, I don't know if you can see it or not because I can't see what the camera can see, is um, Scottish Parliament. And there is Salisbury Crags as we head into the Royal Park of Holyrood. Again, this is all Holyrood Palace on the left-hand side, going around the grounds. And we're going to take a little drive, if it's open, I really hope it's open, because this would be a lovely way to finish the video. A little drive up and round Arthur's Seat. So this is Holyrood Park. Again, we've been here loads. Right-hand side, we have Arthur's Seat. And again, I don't know if you can see it, possibly on the right-hand side, you might just be able to see um, St. Anthony's Chapel, the ruins of St. Anthony's Chapel. Again, we've been up there to have a look at that. Look how nice a day it is. It's just not just a beautiful, beautiful, clear sky day. This is just incredible. I don't know about you, but I'm having a great time just driving about. I see a lot of people enjoying going for runs. It's a lovely place to come for a walk. So if I can go to the right hand side here, hopefully we can go for a drive up and round Arthur's seat if we are really lucky. Everyone think positive thoughts. Oh, it looks like it's open. If you ever want to go up Arthur's seat and you want a little bit of an easier way to go, this is definitely a route to take because it's a path. You can see a path on the left hand side. It's far lower an incline. Yeah, this is a great little road to come up if you want a, a nice little journey up Arthur's seat that's not too steep an incline. Incredibly people running up it. But remember guys, we are in the heart of Edinburgh right now. I am smack in the centre of Edinburgh right now. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't it brilliant? Now it's a shame I can't show you the views um, from here. Because it is just spectacular. Now here we go. There's the top of Arthur's seat right in front of us. So if you walk up this way, or even better if you've got a car, or on a bike and you want to come up this way, then in front of us there is a lovely little path, or at least a less steep path to get up. A lock there as well. Oh, you are going to get to see some views. You are going to get to see a little view here. Wait till you see this. Oh, I'm going to get to show you one of my most favourite things in the world. I forgot. I'm getting way too excited now. Look at this view as we look out over almost the back end of Edinburgh heading out towards Glasgow and things. Look at that view. Is that not amazing? How many of you want to come up here and do this now? Look at that view. Look at that. That's out towards the Pentland Hills. Pentland Hills there. Down, literally down the hill on the left hand side. If I fell down the hill on the left hand side, I would land in uh, Dunningston Loch. Oh, this is just beautiful. What a day to do this. What a day. Is this not absolutely incredible? Now let me try and make sure the camera's straight. Because in a minute, one of the most brilliant things in the world. Pay attention. Now you can see how the rocks on either side of us, you can't see, you can't see straight ahead. All of a sudden, the rocks break Keep, keep watching straight ahead, straight ahead. Watch where the two rocks on either side of us are. The trees and things, watch, it's gonna break. It's gonna break, it's gonna break. And then straight in front of us, Edinburgh Castle just emerges. Is that not incredible? Is that not one of the most brilliant things you've ever seen in your life? Look at that view, Edinburgh. Salisbury Crags. 
Oh, that is just brilliant. Oh, that, that, I'm so glad we did that on such a beautiful, clear day. Now this is us heading back down to uh, Holyrood Palace, heading back down Arthur's Seat here. We go, we're at the Salisbury Crag side now of this road, is a road that goes round. People running uphill. Believe it or not, I used to do that a long time ago now, but I need to try and get back in. Yeah, get that health up. Especially since, you know, you lot keep making me walk around the place. There's Colin Hill right in front of us. You see that? Right up the hill there. There we go. You see that thing there? The white dome thing? That's Dynamic Earth. That's the Earth Science Centre that I told you about just as we started. And this is going to be us perfectly in one little nice circle. Round a little drive round Edinburgh. I didn't really get into Haymarket or anything like that, but... Is that not just been a beautiful day just to go for a little drive? Holyrood Gate here used to be distilleries here. This used to be distilleries. In fact, part of Dynamic Earth on the right hand side is still part of the old distillery. Ah, sunglasses off. Might have a little sunglass mark on my nose. How was that? I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed taking you for a drive around Edinburgh there. I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed that, as always, please give it a like. Subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, also, I've got a favour to ask. Can you subscribe and go check out the new channel, the second channel, Tony Brunford? Uh, please go check that out. It's nothing to do with Edinburgh. It's just me doing silly stuff just for fun. So please go check that out as well. It'd be great to have you along there. Check out the one video that's on there right now. By the time you watch this, there might be two. I don't know. But I think we'll leave it there. Keep yourself safe. Make sure you're all social distancing right now, washing your hands. Just keep yourself nice and safe and secure. But till next time, bye humans.